How's it going guys? I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to actually show you a quick hitch that I recently got for my 1025 John Deere. And the reason that I got this particular one. Now there's a lot of different ones on the market that uh, people get. But this was one uh, because of one of the features that was on it that I decided to get. I thought I would just talk about why that is and show this to you. Of course, I will leave a link to Amazon where you can go and get this very quick hit from. Those of you all familiar with quick hitches know exactly how much easier it can be to add your three point attachments and Again, guys, I'm getting this out of the box for the first time. And here it is. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get this connected up to my 1025 John Deere. Very easy, very straightforward. The only thing we've got to do is pull the pins out of here, put it up on the three point, and we will be good to go. Also, it looks like I need to flip this around as well where I will be able to use it. So, let's just dive right in. And I do know that this is just me, and I'm sure a few others of you out there. But I do like to put just a little bit of grease on some of these pins. That way, they don't wear out as fast and uh, just make things go a little smoother. Okay guys, just to give you a little better view of this particular quick hitch, you can see there the name of uh, Vivor, however you say it. I'll leave a link to Amazon down in the description where you can get it. The reason that I went with this particular quick hitch is the fact that I can add uh, the ball to pull around a small trailer that I have. I've got a 10 foot utility trailer that I use here on my property. Uh, occasionally and this gives me a little bit of functionality for it sometimes if I'm going over to the woods to cut up a little bit of wood I will uh, in the past I've used my Can-Am my side-by-side -side, and uh, this just gives me a little more versatility of being able to use my 1025 for it uh, of course I've got to adjust this it's still just loose I just got it loose now until I actually get time to hook it up to uh, my box blade is one thing that this is going to be used with regularly. I do like it. I think that it is very well made, particularly for uh, this uh, price range. I know there are probably some more expensive ones out there. However, uh, you know, it does look like it is well braced. It's rated for around 3,000 pounds and I believe it will be fine. I'm just trying to give you guys some close-ups of this particular model. Just to show you another view as far as how it sets on my 1025. 
I absolutely love this thing. It uh, gets used quite a bit. But guys, this is just a short video that I wanted to do to show you this quick hitch. And uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also guys, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.